All right, last day in Puebla. Yesterday, uh, I was feeling quite sick, so I just kind of stopped filming at one point because no bueno. But feeling much better today. I took some medication from the pharmacy. And so today we're just gonna explore and go with the flow. We don't really have a plan, except to uh, get some gorditas and some churros. This is it, last day in Puebla. Here we are. So excited for these. We came the other day and they were already closed and we just had the craving. <laughs> so it's like first thing we do today is grab some of these. They're basically like, yeah, like buttermilk pancakes. Yeah. Three gorditas de nata with strawberry, with cajeta, which is dulce de leche, and condensed milk. I haven't had these in so long. Here, try it. I'm trying it first. Okay. The Mexican Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Sweet and delicious? Yeah, they're like, like pancakes. buttermilk pancakes, but nice and fluffy. Yeah. Oh yeah. These are handmade into little balls. Dough. I'm gonna put it on the flat top to cook it. I'm gonna finish this one. <laughs> mm. Our view? Can't stay away from dairy out here. No. Dairy's a thing. <laughs> wow. They're pretty good. I like them on their own without the toppings, too. Oh my god. You really got to taste the. It, it really is like a pancake. Mm hmm. Like an American fluffy pancake. <laughs> yeah. Yum. Approved. Mm hmm. Worth the wait. Anything sweet, you know, it's going to be approved by me. <laughs> we are again at uh, Socalos. Yeah, third time that we're at this Funny restaurant. We don't get that old guy. I know, he's a little bit grumpy. But look at this view of the town square of the Zócalo. Yeah, we had some gorditas, we had some breakfast. We just went to the government building that we were not allowed to film. We got a couple photos I can put up. <laughs> but now we're heading down to the street where there's the tour bus. Oh, and the churreria where they make churros, oh, yes. which is right so there. So we're just gonna have some churros as well. Because you have to. Satisfying all the cravings. All the cravings. Check this out. Fresh churros. You get fried in the oil there. But there's the masa. These here are the churros. With sugar or cinnamon sugar. And here we have it, my lady. A single churro. A single chocolate churro for you. Oh my gosh, we can eat it like Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> And here we are, we got on the tour bus. All right, so we're in this tour bus. It's an hour and a half. And it'll take us all around the city. Gracias. That's all it. right, mass free, baby. What's up? We're on the tour bus around Puebla. And it's awesome, it's so beautiful. Oh, to light it up? Yeah, <laughs> a cigar. Cigar. So we're at the top of a hill here where there was a fort and a war uh, having to do with the history of Cinco de Mayo and um, yeah we're here for 15 minutes having a panoramic view of the city of Puebla. And of course, we gotta get a photo. <laughs> of the sign. Of the sign. Because she's been taking photos with all the signs from all the cities. I hope we didn't miss any. I don't think we missed any. Okay. Yeah, we're good. 
So that there is the Olympic Stadium where Queen played in 82. And it was uh, where Mexico hosted the National Olympics in 1952, if I'm not mistaken. Now here to the left, we can see the castle. If it's not electrical wires, <laughs> it's trees. <laughs> That's how they trim the trees here. It's probably like the roughest bus ride we've been on. Because <laughs> it's cobblestone roads. Dinner here. Those guys are smoking a joint. <laughs> tour bus. It was quite the experience. Extremely bumpy because of these roads and the potholes and everything but really nice overall. Got to see the city, most of the, the highlights of the city. If you're in Puebla, check out the tour bus. Maybe maybe consider one of the newer buses. <laughs> they may have better suspension but the bus that we were on is pretty old school, traditional so that's what attracted us to it. Back to our endless day, so it seems. <laughs> right now we're... Never eaten out this much since like the pandemic started. Yeah, this is an ongoing, ongoing date. We got some guac, some mezcal, with some chili powders and orange slices and some wine as well. And this here is our review. Besides McDonald's, that seems to have really good real estate here. This is the only rooftop bar that's open. <laughs> so obviously we came here because we're not about that McDonald's way. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> no, we're just enjoying this for a little bit. We're gonna chill out. This is our final supper in Puebla. We've been oh, yeah. looking forward to a meal like this since we got here. And we literally like almost didn't make it. Right now it's 10, quarter past 10 and restaurants close at 10. And we're eating illegally. And we're eating illegally right now. There was a woman that was like, come in, come in, our restaurant's open. <laughs> All right, the famous chile in Nogada. This is a traditional chile from Puebla. It's a um, chile poblano, which is the size. And it's covered in a egg batter and deep fried. And inside of it has seasonal fruits and ground beef covered with this nutty sauce and a pomegranate. And Jazz here got some enchiladas, three colors, uh, green, mm. pipan, red pipan, and mole poblano filled with refried beans. Good. And some uh, chalupas, which are some local kind of like sopes, which is like a lightly fried tortilla covered in sauce, chicken, and onion. And we have a soup coming too. Okay, let's see the first bite. Okay, yeah. Not contaminated with the food with other flavors. <laughs> so this is pear, apple, some nuts, ground beef. And Let's you can see the chile in there. It's nice and red. I'm sorry, in green. <laughs> Just dripping. Mmm, yeah. yeah? Is it spicy? No. It's like sweet, savory, nutty. It's not cinnamon, but there's something like something like that in there. Maybe chocolate? Really? Yeah, or something like yeah, <laughs> oh. 
Wow, that is very interesting flavor, but interesting. very good. Wow. So tortilla soup. Tortilla soup. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, give me a bite. Definitely nutty. What kind of nut? Beet bites it's like a um, uh, sun, uh, no, no, not sunflower, uh, pumpkin seed. Mm. Oh like my god, there's so many <laughs> like, so many flavors. So many flavors, it's like, first it's like the nut, then it's like mm, the cream, then the pepper. Wow. And the pomegranate too, it's like little explosions. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Alright. Wow. We're, we're gonna turn this off and enjoy. Peace. <laughs>